back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to give you tips on how to shave down there and avoid bumps ingrown hair and irritation yeah so if you see me looking down while recording it's because i've written a list of things that i feel i need to share with you so the first tip is never shave never dry shave meaning while you want to shave make sure the area you want to shave is moisturized you can use some people prefer to use moisturizing gels or lotions or you could just use water warm water and warm water is essential because it softens your skin and your skin and opens your pores the second thing the second tip you're going to use while shaving is make sure you exfoliate while you're exfoliating make sure you use exfoliating products such as loofs or exfoliating gloves such as these ones these are very important because they really help you make the work easier and uh, make sure while you're exfoliating you are soft on the area that you're exfoliating and exfoliating is important guys because it helps reduce dead skin cells that might clog your shaver hence reducing its efficiency and we don't want that another tip we're going to use the third tip is use cooler water if you're used to bathing with very hot water make sure while you're moisturizing your area make sure you moisturize with cooler water compared to the temperatures you used when bathing while you bathe normally the temperatures you're going to use while moisturizing have to be cooler because you don't want to make your skin too soft because skin when it's exposed to hot water for a long time it becomes too soft and you're going to increase your chances of getting cuts and irritation and we don't want that the fourth tip we're going to use uh while shaving make sure you use a shaving beak or a shaving beak of course and your shaving beak try and use a shaving beak that has at least three blades because it's going to if one blade can shave you well three blades will do miracles so we don't want to be repeating uh with your repeating the same part shaving the same part with your big razor because it's going to irritate the part even more and we don't want cuts or bumps we don't want that and while shaving make sure you use a, a shaving cream or shaving foam or shaving gel that is not scented has no fragrance and or you could just use just make sure you don't use soap because soap tends to dry the skin after after you shave you've shaved and that's not a good thing we don't want that so to uh when your skin is dry it tends to flake and you just it doesn't look well so just try and shave using a shaving cream or shaving foam or shaving gel in the absence of my shaving cream, I usually use VIT. I sometimes go in with my aloe vera gel if I, I, my cream is finished and I don't have supply of it. And the third tip you're going to use, oh, and then your shaving cream acts as a, as a lubricant to your razor because yeah, it acts as a lubricant to your razor, hence it doesn't cut you while, while you're shaving and you feel like your skin is soft and smooth and you just enjoy the whole process the th the fourth the fifth thing you want to watch is watch the direction of your hair if your hair grows downwards make sure you shave coming upwards if it grows sideways this way make sure you shave on the opposite direction make sure you always shave in the opposite direction of how your hair is growing thus you'll have effective shaving yeah and the the sixth tip after you've shaved and you you know you you go in with the disinfectant i usually use detol and make sure the disinfectant you're going to use is not scented or doesn't have any fragrance and the disinfectant helps because it kills away germs fungal fungi bacteria and it closes your pores 
it closes your pores so that nothing can it closes your pores so that you can't have any bacteria coming in you know and if your razor maybe had uh, germs or something this disinfectant takes care of that and you can also you can also go ahead and close your pores using cooler water now very cool water so that you you just keep everything there you know and make sure you also go in with your lubricating um not lubricating hydrating moisturizer so that you keep the place damp we don't want your skin to go dry hence you will start scratching yourself so if you put a hydrating moisturizer better and add uh, sometimes people use even oils instead of hydrating moisturizer or whatever you can have so sometimes i go in with my coconut oil or i go in with my vaseline and make sure whatever you use it is not scented it's just pure jelly or pure oils and the next tip we are going to use is we are going to use a baby powder and a baby powder is essential i use this one because it's soft it's silk and it's so smooth on my skin and it makes my skin soft it prevents the bumps i'm telling you about and also it helps with rashes and with with odor like if you have body odor down there or any other part that you're shaving it helps with that and yeah so another tip i'm going to give you so those are the tips for shaving but another tip i'm going to give you is that your your razor your your razor while shaving and then you're trying to clean it and there are some dead skins stuck on your razor and they don't want to to get out that's a sign that you should change your your shaving your shaving your shaving big you shouldn't use it too often just make sure you have a stock or a variety so that when this one can't be used anymore you use another one that will help you with uh with your shaving and also make sure while shaving uh you also replace your panties and you at least replace them uh twice a year have another stock yeah just stock them at least twice a year at least you can do better than that maybe uh, after every three months but for the lazy ones you can just try at least after every six months you restock your panties and make sure you don't wear panties 24 7 let that place breathe let it just relax and another tip if you've shaved make sure you don't expose that area to the sun make sure it just relaxes if you're planning to go to the beach and you're planning to wear thongs or just strings just make sure that place is not exposed to the sun um another tip eat healthy well during shaving because you want to smell nice you want to we want to have great skin skin that has vitamins and is proteins and stuff you know and another tip make sure you hydrate well 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 drink a lot of water to avoid uh, just to drink a lot of water uh, water is healthy for nearly everything in our life and another thing before handling any area before shaving make sure your hands are clean because you don't want to touch your armpits when you have dirty hands your bikini area will you have dirty hands your legs when you have dirty hands so whatever area you're going to shave make sure your hands are clean so yeah guys that's the end of this video remember to like share and subscribe see you in the next video bye